Hello, it's Daryl at 10 Foot Truck, Good Attitude Services. And it's hot outside, it's about 100 degrees. I'm in the truck right now. Um, I just got back from a removal. I removed an elliptical and it didn't look like it was gonna be too bad from the order, uh, from the photo. It looked like it was just gonna be coming out the back, around the back side of the house. And then it was a little bit of a grade coming up and it has wheels and pulled it up into the driveway. Unfortunately, I got there, I measured the, you know, the arms on the ellipticals. It was just too wide to, and you couldn't really maneuver it through the door. So that's where it got difficult. And I, like my intuition told me but before I went on the job, it seemed like it was just gonna be a simple job and I just need a dolly or just wheel it. But I thought to myself, you know what? I should bring every tool that I have because what if I have to take it apart? Because you never know. So I'm glad I brought all my tools. My socket sets, screwdriver set, Allen wrenches, uh, power tools and uh, my whole tool bag and I ended up using basically using all these tools to take it apart. I had to use, there was different screw, they had to build a whole shell around it. As you can see, this is the inside of it. Now here's where the, uh, the, arm, the, the arms that stay here, there was a big shell that went around it and then on top you had the, uh, the screen and the, you know, where there were no handles there, and then there's the handles there, those are the arms, and then there's the shell, and these are the feet. And so these all had to be taken, it took a while to figure out, because the hardest part was taking apart this shell, because the shell kind of, there's all these pieces you can see, it was kind of interlocked in this big, huge plastic shell went around it, and then on top you have the screen, that screen there. So it took a while, because it was different size screws, and. You know, I had to have, and luckily I brought this screwdriver set because I had to use this in, in a case, in case if there was like a little area where you couldn't get into the screws, you could use this, you could bend it in, in, you know, small spaces. Then I used long, I have screwdrivers of different sizes. But some of these were, some of these um, notches with screws and they went right way in, indented way in, so you need a long screwdriver. And I didn't realize how many screws were involved in this shell, just alone, just the shell. Because without taking the shell off, I couldn't get access to this piece here where the arms are where the arms. These, these hook up right here. Pieces right there hook up. And that's where it got challenging. So once I got the shell off, I took the arms off and then I, and I realized now it's gonna be easier. Because this is heavy. And then after I feel realized that now you can take, once the shell is off, I can take the legs off, or the, you know, the feet. These are the feet that swing on this, you know, they kind of hook up and they swing around on this thing here with the arm swinging, if you know what an elliptical is. It's a very high quality elliptical, you can tell. I mean, it's really solid. Look at that. The wheel and everything is just really, really done well. And that's what made it hard and makes it really heavy. I mean, just these things, picking these up, these, you can feel the weight on that. So taking these two, taking those two feet off and the arms just drop the weight down quite a bit. And then it also compacted the uh, item so they can go through the door. And then there's wheels on the front of it right here. So I could lift it up and grab it and wheel it up the hill. And I, got it, I was able to take it all apart because... <laughs> If you had to move it with all that mechanism together, I don't even know how heavy it was, but I don't think I could have made it up that hill because you can't really attach a dolly to these things. You just have to wheel them with the wheels on there. So it took a while. Customer was cool with that. I guess they had assembled it in the house or whatever, so that's why I didn't fit through the door, but uh, they were nice. And uh, she gave me an $80 tip on top of what they paid. So very nice customer, I'm happy with, uh, with the, with how that went, so now I'm just gonna see what I can do with it. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I have to. I'm, I was gonna put it back together. See, kind of. I'm kind of curious. See how it all works because it's it had to be all in pieces. I kept all the hardware, all this hardware in here, so everything that, that I can put it back together with. Um, so this one, I kind of, kind of put it together. See what happens. Um, seems like a nice piece of equipment. Um, but yeah, if you ever come across this big equipment like this and um, 
depending on how, if you're going to move it, like if you're going to move it from one location to the next, it's, if you take it apart like that, it might be very, unless you have the instructions or the, the, uh, the uh, manual, I don't know if it would be wise because there's a lot of intricate parts that need to be put together. You need to put it together right and correctly if it's going to operate correctly. Uh, so in case of moving it around to from one look, if you're taking it out and they're just they're just getting rid of it or they're just wanting you to, to, to remove it, then in that case, you might as well take it apart because they're, they're just, they just want it out of the house. That's, that's the main thing to get it out of the house. But if they want to move to another place, I would probably have to, I don't know, I'd have to have the instruction booklet and make sure it was put together and assembled the way it's supposed to be. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of curious to see if I could even put it back <laughs> to tell you the truth. I mean, um, see what happens. I'm probably not gonna do it right now because it's so hot. But, um, but anyway, that was a that was a job, pretty good, went, went good. So good jobs here and there. Um, it's just so hot right now. I, don't, I wouldn't do a moving job but like right now. This is a small job, so that's fine. But to do a moving job in this weather would be pretty brutal. It's like, it's, like, it's gonna get over 100 tomorrow, I think the next day. So I don't know if I'll be, I'll probably get smaller jobs. I ain't gonna be doing no full moves when it's uh, 105. I've done it before. One time I did one, it was, I think it was 105. I did money, plenty of them in the summer, but one, it was like 105. And in the trailer was like over, it'd be like 120, because it gets hotter inside the trailer. And like in here, it's really hot right now, but um, yeah, so anyway, hope everything's going great out there. This is Daryl at Good Attitude Services, 10-foot truck, signing out.